Hey cruisers, happy Friday night. We're so happy to see all of you tonight. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting all week for this drink, but this bottle right here, this bottle gave me so much stress. This is the Chipotle pineapple syrup from Monin that we needed to make this drink. This is exactly what they use in the Carnival Alchemy Bar. Ooh, party foul. I didn't turn my audio off on my computer before the live stream, sorry guys. Um, anyway, this is the exact syrup that they use on Carnival. So we had to have the exact syrup because this is gonna make it so special. So for those of you who just joined, we're making Carnival Cruise Line's spicy chipotle pineapple martini. A lot of people are choosing to make this as a margarita tonight with tequila and it will be so good that way as well. It has pineapple juice, the syrup, vodka soaked with um, jalapenos, simple syrup and ice, and that's it, and you're done. It's a really simple drink if you have this. If you don't have this, what I would suggest that you do is double the pineapple juice and use a little bit of fresh chipotle out of a can. I know that sounds really weird, but if you're gonna get that chipotle flavor, you're gonna want a little bit of real chipotle. So buy a little can of chipotle at the grocery store, add more pineapple juice, maybe even a little pineapple puree could probably work. So I just wanted to talk about the drink right away because that's kind of what we're doing. Oh, there's something else I wanted to tell you guys. So many of you were following me on Instagram and um, Facebook last week and you saw these beautiful face masks from Face Cover US. I'm gonna put one on so you can see what I'm talking about. So cute, look. This style is back in stock. And we have a 10% um, off discount code for you, so I've just put it in the chat for all of you, but this is called Garden Party. And I got so many DMs because when we posted about this, this style and this style both sold out. So the styles that I had, but Face Cover US worked really hard this week um, to restock them. And they're, help, they're helping us basically to get the word out about wearing a mask. In the United States, we're having a little bit of a crisis with the virus right now. So we've got to wear our face coverings and do the right thing. And we have a discount code for you. We've our community has bought over 50 of these. There's been 50 orders with however many masks in each order. I don't even know, but they're really interested. Um, my favorite design that just came back into stock is actually called Summer Floral. So look for that one. And then Red Summer is also adorable. So if you like tropical ones, they have those. If you like more basic um, styles, they have a gorgeous... Um, navy stripe and they have denim and a really cool pin stripe that would look great on a guy. So these are good for men and women and they kind of have like a cutout right here um, so that your glasses don't fog. I just had to share it because I'm in love with these and I wore them all weekend and all week this week. They're fabulous. So how's everybody doing? I wanna jump into the chat real quick for two seconds before we make our drink and then we will get right to it. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you guys, we have an anniversary in the house tonight. Let's wish a very happy anniversary to the Berettis. Um, they're going out to dinner tonight to celebrate their 10 year wedding anniversary, but John and Brenda, happy 10 year anniversary. Thank you guys so much for popping into the chat before you guys went out to dinner. That is so, so cool. Yes, Carrie, you're gonna love the mask. Natasha's here. Hi, Natasha. I miss you. I haven't seen you in a while. So good to have you here, my dear. All right. Yeah, Lisa, you're starting to match your masks with your outfits, right? Uh, and for those of you who didn't catch it in the chat, I put the link in the description and the discount code that you need is also in the description of the video. Hi, Dave. Hi, Steve. Um, and Mike and Cheryl are doing great. So Mike and Cheryl, I think I can spill the beans and let them know what you guys got to do today, which is so cool. I can tell them, right? I can tell them about Princess. Um, so many of you saw that Princess did a really neat live stream today on their YouTube channel, Princess Cruises. They got the president, Jan Swartz, and one of their awesome, funny, adorable cruise directors, and they literally did a live stream. And Mike and Cheryl got selected to be in the Zoom room as like avid loyalists to Princess. They actually got to be in the live chat. It was so cool. I was working, so I didn't really get to see the whole thing. I popped in for a few minutes on a break and I got to see them for just a tiny second. Hi, Shannon, good to see you. Shannon, I'm going with Caribbean Yacht Rock. I think you should blend the themes together. Just so you know, Kathy, the only ship in the United States right now, no Canada, no Australia. I'm so sorry, I know, such a bummer. 
Such a bummer. Um, thank you all so much for wishing happy anniversary to our friends. It's so wonderful. Um, Jimmy M said, should we book San Francisco to Hawaii in February 2021? I would totally do that if I were you. And those 15 night Hawaii um, adventures look so wonderful right now to me. Like all the sea. Now, I used to be the girl who was like, oh, I don't want to go. I don't want all the sea days. Now I'm like, give me anything. I'll take it. Right. We had Joe drop a super chat in the house before the live stream too. And I just want to say thank you, Joe, very much. And I say, yes, let's get this party started. So let's make a drink guys. So excited to make the spicy chipotle pineapple martini. It's too long of a title. I can't read this. Mr. Chris Tips TV, want to pop the recipe up on the screen for me? Yeah. Cool. He's all, what? What? Babe? what? <laughs> so we're going to start. I'm, I'm going to be putting this in a little martini glass tonight. I know that you saw a pineapple on the cover of this video. I have a pineapple and I'm actually going to make this into a mock teeny for Junior and serve it to him in the pineapple. I, I didn't want to spoil the pineapple on me because I was like, I'm a grown up. It won't be, it's more fun to give your kid the pineapple. So I'm going to make him a mock teeny later, but I'm going to serve in a martini glass. So we're going to start with a cocktail shaker. I'm gonna pop some ice in there. Oh my gosh. Let's get our ice going. I have everything pre-measured out too so we can get this thing going and get this thing in our bloodstream because boy, do I need it. I know everybody had a pretty intense week. A lot of you have told me you've had an intense week like I did this week. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you, Ruth Garcia. Okay, we're gonna start with two ounces of vodka flavored with jalapenos. I took that literally and I put jalapeno slices in my vodka and I just let it soak there all afternoon right here in the set. Oh my gosh, Jerome, you were also on the princess Zoom room and I didn't see it. I'm gonna go back and watch the, um, the replay just to see you and thank you for the super chat. That is so cool, I didn't know that. We have two of our VIPs. In goes the two ounces of vodka and then we have one ounce of the Monan um, chipotle pineapple syrup. This is the stuff I showed you in the bottle earlier. I think I went under an ounce because it's really sweet and I don't do too well with that much sugar, but this is, that's what I just put in. And now we're going to add one ounce of pineapple juice. I think that looks about right, like an ounce, right? Okay. And then it calls for a half an ounce of simple syrup. I don't need that. You don't, you don't even need that simple syrup, guys. This is sweet enough. Leave it out. Unless you like your drinks really super sweet, which I don't. Oh, and then we're also going to add a bunch of mint leaves. But I do need to save a mint leaf for garnish. I think mint is such a weird thing to put in this drink. But hey, whatever works, right? So it said to add like six to, um, what does it say? Like six to seven mint leaves. I guess that's going to happen. I've never tried this drink at home. So we're going to see how the mint lends itself. Natasha, thank you for the adorable little super sticker. What does that say? How cute. It says number one. Thank you, Natasha. You're so sweet. And we have a new subscriber tonight. Is it Leon or Leon? Welcome, Leon. Thank you for subscribing. Oh my goodness sakes. I think you're gonna be okay for your January cruise, Bill. Try not to be too nervous. Let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna not talk while I shake, okay guys? Here we go. Because we haven't done a dancing live stream in a really long time. Oh, I cannot wait to drink this, you guys. Smack that mint. Carrie said smack it, yes. Okay, so Carrie's right. The next step in the process is to pour your martini into the martini glass, and then like Carrie said, you're gonna smack the mint between your hands just to release the flavors, and then we're gonna float it on top because we so fancy. I'm a weirdo, and I'm gonna put a little bit of ice in my glass before I, before I pour this out, and now we're going to strain and pour. Here we go. Let's see how it is. Oh, I love it when it's just the right amount for the glass and I can tell that the, the quantity is absolutely perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that smells so good. Huh? Yeah. What do you guys think? Does it look good? Okay, now we're gonna smack the mint like the pro bartenders do. Bap. And then, ooh, that releases the flavor so that if you're a bartender and you serve your drink then to someone, the mint kind of like wafts up. Here it is, y'all, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? I'll show you a little closer. Beautiful, let's taste. 
Mm, boy, that was really easy. Bill said, shake it. I know, Linda, we do need a little salsa music. Mm. Wowie zowie. Oh, wow. It's spicy. I'm going to go ahead and say that that is probably the jalapenos that I soaked in the vodka because I don't really think that the chipotle syrup is all that, um, is all that spicy. But you know what? Let's find out. I'm going to pop a teeny bit of it in here and taste it. It has a little bit of heat, but it's not the source of what's burning my lips. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. It's definitely the jalapenos. Boy, that is so good. Sydney's here. You had this on an NCL ship, Sid? Really? I didn't know that. That's funny. Maybe it's just a common, um, a common martini. I, I always thought it was a, um, a Carnival Cruise Line alchemy bar thing, but I guess it's not. Carrie said it smells so good. Yes, you can smell it through the screen, right? Yours is spicy too. Your syrup was spicy, Carrie? Really? Oh my gosh. Kathy with a super sticker. Thank you, Kathy from Australia. We appreciate you so much. And I'm so sorry that the masks don't ship to Australia. I saw your comment earlier. I apologize. Steve said, I love spicy, but I've been hesitant to try it in a drink. I'm just afraid it wouldn't go well. <laughs> Steve, I don't know what, what you mean by it wouldn't go well, but I mean, if you mean like choking on it <laughs> or something like it goes up your nose. I love spicy drinks. I like to balance out the sweetness. I think it's a good thing to do. Okay, Lisa Vega said, probably hard to choose, but what's been your favorite cocktail that you have made on the live stream so far? Oh, Lisa, that's such a great question. Um, okay, so Lisa, we've made so many good ones since March, right? Um, Mayan Heat that we made is one of my absolute favorites. And then there is one with Aperol and gin that was, I think, a princess drink. I think it's called the Italian Sunset. And it has bitters, Aperol and gin and lemon juice or sour mix. That one, I keep going back to that one. And what else? Um, I always like the Cucumber Sunrise, but I would say the Mayan Heat is probably my favorite. This one is actually very good. Scott, I did leave the seeds in the jalapeno. Was that my mistake? Oh, Scott, I did. I'm busted. Okay, um, yeah, Steve, I like the taste, but I'm a jalapeno girl. In California, maybe it's this, the, we have a, some of us are into a crazy amount of spice in California. I think it might be because there's so much really good, authentic Mexican food here. And so you do have the option of going pretty spicy with that. And I grew up on, I grew up in San Diego, which is right on the border. So we were very fortunate to have the best Mexican food in the world. And the, the salsas down there, the hot sauces are very, very hot. And it's just how I grew up, but so good. Aw, Kathy. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Yeah, Carrie, I love the Aperol one too. Mike and Cheryl, the 007 or Deep Sea Martini. The Deep Sea Martini is really good, but I've learned, Mike and Cheryl, that I don't like the taste of blue curacao a whole heck of a lot. So what I need to do is pull back on that and make it just a very light blue Deep Sea Martini, <laughs> very Caribbean blue. More pineapple, less curacao. I, I don't know what it is about the flavor. I just don't love it. It's weird. Uh, thank you, Karen, for your compliments on my top. This is very old. It's probably five years old, but I love it. I wear it all the time. It stays in place, and I like that. Oh, my gosh. Michelle said, I have jalapenos, serranos, and Anaheim chilies growing on my deck. I love spicy food. So do I. Hi, Melanie. Welcome. Yeah, Steve, you need to get to San Diego. San Diego is a beautiful place. Gorgeous. Huge, sprawling, very spread out um, city with a lot of cities and towns within it. Hi, Daisy. We've missed you, too. So good to see you back. Ah, Linda said, my son and his friends put habanero in vodka and take shots. He said, the first to cry loses. Yeah, you can't help it when your mouth is watering or your, I mean, your eyes are watering. <laughs> Crazy cat traveler said, my nose is burning all the way in Washington State. Oh, well, yeah, I can imagine. I'm actually going to water this down with a little more ice because, you guys, I got it a little too hot. It, I'm feeling it. Woo! Let's, let's, ex Scott, let's examine the jalapeno, Scott. Oh, yeah. Those are some spicy little buggers. So, Scott, there's one of them. I had two about this size in there, and I don't even see the seeds anymore, which means they've probably released their devilishness, oops, <laughs> into the um, cocktail shaker or into my drink, but that is so spicy, and I love it. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, too, 
I actually, I bought this on Amazon. There's a link to buy it if you want to in with the recipe in the description. However, um, I actually ordered it before I got it on Amazon. I went to the website for Monan and I ordered the bottle there. When I realized that it wasn't gonna come in time, that's when I went to Amazon and panic ordered a second bottle. But Monan has some really beautiful syrups. And I bought, a, I think for $11, I bought a sampler kit of florals. It has like lavender and rose syrups and I'm gonna make a bunch of cocktails with those. So maybe we can come back and do a floral themed live stream. Doesn't that sound fun? Lisa, that's a fun idea. Lisa said you should make jalapeno poppers in the kitchen for us. Lisa, I've never made jalapeno poppers. What a fun challenge. I really like that. Maybe we could do that. Janet, I totally understand. My mom cannot do spice at all either. She's really sensitive to it. Totally get it. Hi, Danielle. Yes, Kathy, the Mexican food is so good. Dean, blue curacao is good with Sprite. Oh, I love it. Um, Jessica Sullenberg said, thoughts on cruises mandating getting the vaccine. Do you see that happening? My sister, who is cruising with us, has a gene mutation in the vaccine, can have a big adverse effect on her. Nope, I don't see it happening any more than I see them requiring you to cruise with a flu vaccine. Um, there are several reasons, HIPAA being just one of them. I don't know if HIPAA applies to the cruise lines, considering the fact that they are not necessarily running their businesses out of the United States, but um, health information privacy is a huge thing in the US, and I absolutely do not think that that will happen, Jessica. Um, do I think that health questionnaires will happen? Of course, health questionnaires and health screening, temperature screenings at check-in are probably reasonable to expect. However, age limits and health restrictions and vaccines, in my personal opinion and in my experience, are probably quite unlikely. However, what we are seeing in certain Caribbean ports, such as St. Martin, is that a certain negative test, you could have to present a negative test result, potentially, but a vaccine, no. Uh, I, I absolutely do not think that will happen. I would, pr I would probably put money on it not happening. That's how strongly I feel, Jessica. And generally speaking, I don't have to, I don't get that opinionated. <clears throat> um, yeah, Carrie, I'm so sorry that they canceled your order. I had a really bad feeling I wasn't going to get mine too. I just had this really, really bad feeling it wasn't coming, but it did, which is a miracle. Um, Shannon, I will so let you know. I um, actually think I might tell you right now which florals they are. I really want you to help me with this. And it, the Monan website is really cool, you guys. It's neat. They have really beautiful things there. Let me see if I can find my orders. I'm sure I can. Um, Shannon, it was, let's see. Let me take a sip real quick while I look. Ah. How are you doing over there, honey? You doing good? Good. Oh, it's saying my login isn't good. That's not, that's not, why is it doing that? Hmm. Okay. I got in, Shannon. And my order has been shipped. For $26, I got a bottle of this. And I also got a pump for it, because you know I'm going pro here with the bartending thing, Jeez. And thank you Shannon H for the kind words on my look. I didn't know that I looked good, that, thank you for that. I didn't, I didn't feel like I did, so I appreciate that. Um, the floral collection, where is it Shannon? Darn it, we've got two Shannons in the house tonight. Floral collection. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Okay, it's so cute. So for $11, you get five florals and the florals are violet, lavender, rose, hibiscus, and elderflower. And they're each 1.69 ounces, which will last me a while, but they're so cute. Um, so again, violet, lavender, rose, hibiscus, and elderflower. I already have an elderflower liqueur, so I probably won't use that one as much. But yeah, for 11 bucks, I thought that was fun. And what a really nice gift that that would be. So yeah, cool stuff. I lost my chat, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, but I'm bringing it back. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Keith. Keith, are you working tonight or are you off work? Let me know. I know, uh -huh. Shannon and Shannon in the house. Thanks, you guys. No, my outfit is not a dress, it's just a shirt. Um, it's, a, it's a shirt, but I have funky little shorts on. You guys aren't supposed to see those. Usually I wear pajamas. 
Uh, thank you, Bill Bayungo, for the super chat for Junior's favorite beverage. Thank you, Bill. He's been really into mocktails lately. I've been making him mocktails. I'm home a little bit more, so it's been really nice. One of the things I always put in his mocktails, Bill, um, and that we'll use your super chat for our budget is frozen fruit. Things like um, when, when I make him mocktails, he likes to use the muddler. He loves to, you know, kids like to like, ram stuff. So I, he likes to muddle his um, mocktails with frozen cherries. And what's so beautiful is they color. It colors the cocktail or the mocktail. It's so pretty. So we can make anything pink with a, um, with a muddled cherry. Like he likes frozen pineapple, frozen blueberries. So we'll float those in there and do things like pineapple juice and LaCroix and things like that. Oh my goodness sakes, I wish I had my translation app so I could translate K-pop boys. Um, comment, thank you K-pop boy. Yeah, Carrie, you saw my funky shorts. What's your question, YouTube? Feel free to answer, ask your question, that's what we do. Is it up there? Oh, okay. Oh, YouTube said, okay, my question is when will cruising start? Well, we know right now that it's very, very unlikely that it will happen before October 1st. But to be honest, we some of us who have been observing the other, other behaviors of certain cruise lines like Princess Cruises don't believe that cruising will resume this year. Princess Cruises just canceled um, all of their sailings through September, excuse me, I'm sorry, through December 15th, which could potentially, if things improve with the virus and, you know, we have cases under control and travel is safe again, it's very possible that we could see cruises by Christmas, but I'm not counting on it. Uh, you should expect other cruise lines to follow suit within the next week with some cancellations later into the year, guys. It's likely gonna happen. Um, I think Norwegian is probably next, to be honest. Okay, Sid, I'll do a muddled drink next time. Good idea. Ooh, the Brazilian um, rum drink. Oh, like a caipirinha? Sid, tell me what, which one you mean. Fallen said, use strawberry mix and lime juice with strawberry and lime LaCroix. It's awesome. Oh, Fallen, that sounds so good. Joe, you booked a Baltic cruise for next August. What a lovely idea. I'm thinking about doing that. Mr. Cruise Tips TV and I, guys, before all this went down, you know what we wanted to do? We wanted to visit like 20 countries in four years. We were going to set out this big goal to have a country, country list, a number of them, a goal. And now it's like, can't even leave my backyard. <laughs> so maybe Joe will be seeing you over in the Baltic region. We would love that. So good. Oh man, I'm glad crazy cat traveler that you booked your backup with Lolita Loca. That's awesome. Oh yeah, we need to do that. We need to do that. Karen, is it you that was suggesting the mocktail live stream with Junior's favorites? That's such a good idea. It's been a little while since we've done that. Caipirinha, well, okay, Sid, I'll look into that. I know I need to get a special liqueur for that. Liquor, not a liqueur. Um, hi, Jenner's Patters. I just started making lemon drop martinis with fresh lemon juice. Yum. Oh, Banya, do you, Banya, how do I pronounce Gdansk? I know that's not how you say it. Please tell me how to pronounce it. I would love to know. And I don't know if I knew that that's where you lived. I'm so excited to know that right now. Daisy, you did lift and ship, lift and shift from Royal. Okay, good. I'm glad it worked out for you. Yum. Thank you, Carrie, for the encouragement that our country list will happen. We really want to do it. We, we were getting so, getting so excited. We were like, you know, kind of on a roll with getting more comfortable with international travel. Junior was really hitting his stride with being more comfortable with travel, and that's just what we did. Um, I said it right, Bonya? Really? Oh, man, that's a miracle. That's so cool. Aw, oh, thank you, Bray Ramen. How beautiful. Oh, my goodness, I want my Translate app. Where, how do we get, how do we get a Translate in the chat, Mr. Chris Sips TV? You can do it for me? Thank you so much. Um, Karen Earl said, will you participate in the 50th birthday celebration? Maybe Karen, carnivals, you mean? That's so good. I know, Vicki. Mr. Cruise Tips TV will agree with you on that. Aw, oh, Pamela, you think Symphony's going to cancel? Yeah, I think it's very likely at this point. I'm sorry to say. Joe, they changed your ship from Grand to Regal and no more indoor pool. I'm with you, Joe. I love old Grand class ships. I do. I really do. What's the details? Let me know the details. Oh, okay. Got it. I don't know the details. Ah, yeah. I 
don't know any more details. I'm sorry, I don't know the details. We translated, but that's okay. I'm sorry, Janet, that your cruise got canceled, but yeah. Um, so your Carnival Inspiration got cruise got canceled, but Janet, was it on one of the, the ones that got canceled this year or next year? Is it because I know that Radiance is replacing Inspiration and Imagination, which is really cool. Wow, thank you, Leanne. You guys, I'm getting so many compliments on my top and my look tonight. I don't know what I'm doing to deserve that, but thank you. I'm letting my hair go kind of dark. Um, I haven't had my hair cut since February, so you guys are all very kind, um, and I'm feeling really appreciative of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Mike and Cheryl, good answed, I think is the way to pronounce it. I, I want to I'll oh, put my top in there for oh honey, you're yeah? so cute. No? No. Did, did, I love his kitty tops. You guys, he literally lives in those, in his kitty tank tops and like athletic shorts. And I know Jerome likes that. Fallen said, I'm re-watching your cruise vlog so I can imagine I'm back on the high seas. Yeah, Fallen, I need to do that too. It's so depressing, right? Oh my goodness. Mike and Cheryl said, you're so fetch, babe. Carrie said, oh, a kitty shirt, so cute. Hi, Katie. It's nice to see you guys. Yeah, um, Mike and Cheryl, he got them from, he got a shirt for Junior, too. He got it. He finally found one online. Bonia said, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Shannon, let's get Steve a tank top. You guys, okay, no, I can 100% see Steve sitting in the backyard wearing the kitty theme. You guys need to have, like, a kitty theme um, weekend or just, like, pet-themed weekend. That'd be so funny. Oh my gosh. Jenner's Patter said, wow, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Literally, you guys, our house, it's all cat clothes. It's hilarious. I'm glad you guys got to see it. Thank you, honey, for making a sneak peek. Joe said, I'm considering booking an Alaska cruise either on Coral or Majestic. Which would you choose? Oh, that's hard. Because I'm kind of, see, Joe, I'm kind of curious about Majestic, right? Because it had been over in Asia and I think it's going to Australia now. Um, and so I'm curious about the ship, but I love me an old grand class ship. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Aw, oh, you're getting all kinds of love about the kitty top, babe. Ruth Garcia said meow or meow. Which one was it? Ruth meow. I think that's what it was. All right, I'll stop being inappropriate. I know I'm so bad. Jerome said three ships got moved around for next year. Regal became Majestic. You know that for sure. Then Grand became Regal. You're not sure about the third swap. Don't mark my words on the Grand Regal. Yeah, I know. Um, it's funny because those of us who like the old ships, we like the old princess ships. It's true. Wait, Steve, you don't do tank tops? That's okay, Steve. We have t-shirts. Juniors is a t-shirt. It's not a tank. Come on. It's cool. Hawaiian shirts and golf shorts in the summer. Yeah, that's good. That's a good look, actually. I like that look. Ah, uh, you guys are so funny. <laughs> Holly said, I have a New Year's cruise out of LA booked. I think I'm going to cancel and book Norway in May. And so that's a pretty good trade-off, Holly. Yeah, save the money. Go to Norway in May. Good idea. Mike and Cheryl said, nice cameo. <laughs> so funny. We, now we need to set out to find Steve a, a kitty cat t-shirt. Do you have to size up in those at all? Or do you buy true to size? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you a link, Steve. Um, yeah, it goes well with your fish flops, Bonia said. <laughs> Bonia's been around for a while. She knows. Um, Oh, hi, Maria. Maria said, hi, Sherry and Junior and Editor. Regards from Orlando, Florida. Hey, Maria. Maria, have you been to the theme parks yet? Have you tried them? Let, let us know. Um, vision, visions of Carol Baskin dancing in my head. What's that? Oh, uh, Nancy Raphaelian. I hope you're staying safe and, safe and healthy. What have you been doing to keep yourself busy? Oh, hi, Nancy. That's such a fun question. Thank you for asking. Nancy, um, I've been working, of course, full time. Mr. Cruise Tips TV as well on the channel. We have been working on our website in addition to working. We, the one thing I think that we've done that's very different is a lot of cooking. And we have a, a pretty extensive vegetable garden this year. So Junior and I have really been enjoying it. The corn is now officially taller than me. And the zucchini, we got our first zucchini that's like this big and running into the side of the garden box. I even learned how to cross pollinate, or excuse me, to pollinate my own zucchini. Um, it's Steve Roth. Um, and it's been very nice, Nancy, to do more gardening. Typically, 
We've had such a bad gopher problem where we live in California that I have not been planting in the ground for the last almost seven years. I've only been planting into pots, but Mr. Cruz Tips TV very generously put gopher wire down for me underneath a raised bed. He moved my raised bed to an easier place to water, and I bought a goat watering bin and drilled holes in it, and we planted a lot of stuff in there. I have tomatoes, I have peppers, I have lettuce, I have boxwood basil, I have lemon balm, zucchini, pumpkins, and just a massive amount of tomatoes this year. So we're having fun, we are learning, we are also, just to tell you another thing we're doing, we are learning to be still and to be content just like this. And that has taken us a lot of time um, to not be completely devastated about not being able to travel. I think we're in a good place. I think it has been good for us ultimately because we always look at these very difficult times as a family um, as opportunities to become better people and to improve ourselves. And so I believe that releasing that just expectation or almost like an addiction to travel a little bit and just finding a peace and calm in our daily life has been very, very good for us. Are we missing cruising? Oh, God, yeah. Do we talk about travel every day? Yes, but we are also having a lot of fun just in our home. Having friends over on a very limited and safe basis, um, jun spoiling Junior like crazy, teaching him new things. He and um, Daddy have been running and biking every day. Like physically, our physical fitness level has never been better. Any of us, we're all working out, we're doing better. Also have completely stocked my bar. I am, I'm, I have a full bar in my house, which is not healthy, but I'm just being honest. YouTube said, is the Carnival Corporation selling ships? Yes, they are selling them at a rapid rate. And I think we just found Steve a shirt. This is for Jerome. This is for Jerome? Why? Oh gosh, Jerome. How's that, Jerome? Kitty with lasers. When I told you that is all that is worn in this household, I wasn't joking. <laughs> YouTube, you can ask another question. Yes, they're selling ships. In fact, in the last week, YouTube, um, Carnival sold four Holland America ships and they sold um, several Carnival ships. Um, they have sold Inspiration and Fantasy or is, is that right? And, and then there's two of their older fantasy class ships that are on long-term layup as well. Um, <clears throat> Jerome said, that makes me happy. <laughs> Steve said, okay, now that is funny. You guys, you thought we were joking about this. Oh my gosh, Zara, congratulations on your pregnancy. That's exciting. Um, Shannon said, I'm an introvert by nature but I've had to adjust more than I ever expected. I'm actually missing doing things with people. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, may I share a little bit about you at the moment? I would say Mr. Cruise Tips TV, Shannon, is also totally an introvert, but he too has been very social lately. He's been doing everything he can to make sure our son has contact with his friends on a regular basis and has been you know, stepping outside of his own comfort zone to make sure that our little boy gets the interaction he needs because he's an only child. And I think we've all, I love that you said that because I believe that we've all sort of realized um, who our real friends are, right? Like you, you become very comfortable with that. You just have an appreciation for people. Gosh darn it, I, I have an appreciation for hugging now. Now I know there's a lot of people who after this will like never want to hug again in their life and they're like, they're gonna have like barbed wire six feet around them for the rest of their life, but that will not be me. When this virus is gone, I will be like the crazy hug lady. That's like the version of the crazy cat lady, but the crazy hug lady. Cause I'm literally like, oh, I'm a hugger. I'm just, I'm a hugger. Ask anyone who's ever seen me on a cruise ship. Mr. Cruise TV is like rolling his eyes over there going like, yeah, she's a hugger. I am. Um, yes, I am a hugger. Big time. Uh-oh, ice cube down. 
I gotta retrieve that because we got hardwood floors and we don't want that sucker permeating its way into the hardwood floors. All right. Mm, that's really nice, Jerome. <laughs> yes, thank you, Steve. I will be hugging away when it's safe. Very, very true. Sid, I hope so too. And yeah, I mean, it will mean so much more to meet all of you when we finally get to that point. It will mean so much more than ever to, um, to meet people face to face. I will, I, I will have a very, very good appreciation for that. Joe said, good news regarding the cruise industry. I got accepted into my course at the university. So this time in three years, I will be working aboard a cruise ship. Joe, that's wonderful. Would you please, Joe, share with us what you're studying? I'm very, very interested to know. Um, <laughs> you're funny, Joe. I might get a discount. Thank you, Fallen. I appreciate it. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> Mike and Cheryl, alert, alert, the ice has fallen. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Natasha Wakanda forever hugs from Black Panther. I need to watch that. That's so cute. A mother hugger. Yes, Scott. I know, Vicky. Us huggers are hurting right now. I've been able to give a few hugs. Um, I got to hug my employee of eight years who left the company during this crazy time. I did get to see her collect her key and I get I, I gave her a hug we both know that we haven't been exposed to anything we haven't seen anyone virtually so it's like I'm hugging you I don't care I'm just doing it it's worth the risk so I hugged her I hugged my mom but we actually I wore a mask when I hugged my mom <laughs> oh Melanie said any suggestions for things to do in Tortola yay Melanie we love it when we get like legit cruise questions yes um, if you're the adventurous type, Melanie, take an excursion over to Virgin Gorda and go to the baths. It will change your life. It's amazing. So again, um, you can take a ferry yourself. You can take the ferry to Virgin Gorda and then they'll take you on like a little tractor and then you can hike to the baths. And when I say the baths, I mean like B-A-T-H-S. Google it, look up how to get there, do it. Um, it's absolutely just spectacular. Jerome said, I'm so excited for the next Alaska season because of the White Pass and Yukon has new power units. It's very rare for a narrow gauge railway to get new power units. Oh, Jerome, you're talking train nerd and I love it. Yes, I am so excited about anything that they do and we've got to get back out there and check that out. So thank you for letting me know. I actually wasn't aware of that. That is really cool. Isn't that cool, babe? So cool. YouTube said, have you been on Symphony of the Seas? I have not, but I've been on Harmony of the Seas, which is somewhat similar and it is a fantastic ship. Surprisingly easy to navigate, even though it is absolutely ginormous. But Symphony of the Seas gets a great rep too. Kathy said, yes, the baths are amazing. Yeah, Jerome, it is so hard to lose long-term employees. This one was my right hand too. She's precious. I love her and I'm so proud of her but it is very difficult to lose someone during a time like this when you've already been working remotely and you don't see each other all the time. It is very, the emotions were heightened, but I'm so happy for her, but I've had to do a lot of um, soul searching and um, just, you know, you, you know how when you, you love someone, you let them go. It was one of those things. It was like, don't take it personally. She's, she's doing great things. Scott said, Scott Kaler said, are back-to-back -back cruises common and where's the best location? Yes, Scott, they're very common. We have people in the chat tonight who have done back-to-backs. Um, the Caribbean is an excellent place to do a back-to-back -back because you can do an Eastern and a Western back-to-back -back, and it's almost like doing a 14 night cruise because you can go see the Eastern side of things and you can go to the Western. So on the Western side, you know, like Grand Cayman, Jamaica, Cozumel, and then over on the Eastern side, you might do a private Island. You might do St. Thomas, St. Martin, that kind of thing. So yeah, Nancy Raphaelian said, if you were to cruise one last time for the rest of your life, which cruise line would it be? Nancy Raphaelian, I would either take a princess cruise in a suite a world cruise or an MSC Yacht Club world cruise. Those would be my two choices. You, babe? Well, yeah, he 100% agrees with me, which is why we've been married for how long? 22 or something years? Yeah, Nancy, that would be my choice. Good question. 
Thank you, Shannon. You're so sweet. I appreciate that so much. Aw, Maria said, I'm Hispanic and by nature I'm a hugger. We are a very warm family. Thank you, Maria. That's so sweet. My family too. Carrie said, I hugged my kiddo who is moving to Oregon. And I hope you hugged your kiddo, girlfriend. Oh my gosh. I know. It's so hard. I miss my mom, but I'm also so glad that I took a vacation and went to go see my mom. Um, obviously we had no social contact for weeks before I saw my mom. We like quarantined and then went and saw her and everything was good. And, um, but we we're being very careful because my mom just turned 80 in July. And so we're just being super careful. Yeah, Karen, a world cruise, right? <laughs> Nancy, ask away. I love it too. So true. I know. I know. Sheldon said, next goal for me is a back to back. Yeah, Sheldon, you got to do it. Sheldon, my question for you then is where will you do a back to back? What will be your choice? Like what area? Steve Roth with a virtual hug and a super chat. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate you. Mwah. Hugs to both of you guys. Ugh, virtual hug. I can do virtual hugs. That is acceptable. And a cheers. Salud to you, my friend. Salud to Yacht Rock Caribbean Weekend. All right. Okay, let's see here. What did Janet say? Watched a travel video on it, looked even better when we went. Do you have any door decoration ideas? Yeah, YouTube, door decoration ideas. Make sure they're non-flammable. Magnetic ones are great. Um, good places to find door decorations would be the dollar store, things like that. You could also craft and make your own and take them with you. Magnetic whiteboards make really good door decorations. You can write notes to your friends if you're cruising with friends, so yeah. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Yeah, you got to do Japan. Kathy, we're going to do Japan again. Our heart is like crying out for a, Jap a Japan cruise. Scott said, can you save money on a back-to-back? -back? Not really, Scott. You're basically just paying for two cruises. But work with a travel agent on it, and they'll do their best. If you cruise kind of off-season, you can still save some money. Yeah. Ooh. Um, you did four back-to-backs in a row, Karen? How long did that put you on? Okay, Ozark Life said, should we repeat MSC Seaside or try Carnival Panorama for our next cruise? Oh, well, that's two totally different destinations, Ozark Life. So it depends on where you want to go. Come on over to the West Coast and try Panorama if you've already tried Seaside. Um, I think you might love it, but it's different. Hi, Travel with Tess. Welcome. Um, but yeah, try something different. Okay, Janet O. Oh, Janet's asking Jerome a question, not me. Sorry, Janet. Okay. <laughs> What? Not talking to you. Talking to, I'm talking to Jerome. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Scott. Good. I'm glad that helped you. All right, guys. We got to go feed our kid as usual. That's why these things end. Um, but I want to, I like to like let you know we're going to wrap up in three minutes and then make sure we didn't miss any questions. So we'll like kind of sign out at about 6 15 ish. Um, Bill Bianco said snorkeling in Grand Cayman or Jamaica, uh, Grand Cayman. Yo, oh, oh, Grand Cayman for sure, Bill. Bill, if you can do a resort scuba dive in Grand Cayman, do it. Um, it was my first scuba dive. It was a resort dive, meaning you don't need to be certified. It was beautiful. Grand Cayman is gorgeous. Definitely do it there. That would be my opinion. All right. Yeah, Scott Kaler said, the seaside has great food, very different panorama, choose fun. Yeah, they're both great options. Thank you, Mike and Cheryl. Thank you, Sydney. We appreciate you guys so much. I'm scrolling for a few more questions. We have time. Carrie said, poor hungry child. I know, Carrie. He's fine. He's doing okay. Um, okay, I don't see any more questions, and I think we're good. Just Scott echoing my that Grand Cayman is the better snorkeling for sure. Oh, you guys, I, ha I forgot to tell you, we're doing a live stream tomorrow. On our Cruise Gear channel, we are unboxing, oh my gosh, I'm so sore, all of this, 10 a.m. Pacific, no, 11 a.m., right? 11 a.m., babe? 11 a.m. Pacific, guys, look, I got Glossy Box. So Cruise Gear is where we do cruise tech, beauty, fashion, and packing essentials. So tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific, we're unboxing Glossy Box, Target, Ipsy, and my Pira Vita Monthly Club, and I'm really looking forward to it. So come hang out over there, and we're also gonna 
show off our masks. But thank you all so much for being here. Melanie, thank you. Kathy, thank you. Bill, get to bed. It is late. I'm just kidding. Thank you guys for being here. We had so much fun. Scott, Junior wants pizza. I want chicken. I'm going to go fight with him over that for a little while. And tomorrow when you, you know, come to our other live stream, I'll let you know who won. Thanks for being here, you guys. We'll see you again very soon. Go watch all of our news videos this week if you want some serious cruisy business. And until tomorrow, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Cruiser of the week. <laughs>